Hi there, and welcome to another Drago's Persona Chat with yours true. Hi, me again. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to notify about my videos as much as I can put in. Another anime convention hopefully be added to the panel to see the voice actors of Persona 5. Two other stuff with it to come this year in 2021. I really want to give many hits, please. Today we're going to talk about another Shin Megami Tensei game that actually is going to come out this year. Brand new, besides side parts, lots of personas, four main Shin Megami Tensei. I'm talking about Shin Megami Tensei 5. Coming out, the release date, November 12, 2021. And in Europe, and the 11th. How can we get it one day after? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so is it worth seeing? Okay, if you saw the E3 yesterday for the whole announcement of Nintendo Direct, that is one of them. Yes, it looks cool, it's worth playing. I thought the main character was a girl. No. Of course, it's a guy, and it has fused with this Ayo... Gami demon type of persona of shadow of her. Or all ends again in this storyline. This kid becomes something that saved the world, changes somehow, become half demon himself. It looks like a girl. It's actually a guy, a freaking guy. Okay, okay, I'm not really bad this one. I'm just surprised, okay? If you guys are the same thing too, it's like, is this dude? Yeah, they have the same tricks, but cool looks and designs are neat, the scenery, RPG classic for this type of thing. I'm surprised it came out. I didn't know what the gameplay was going to be, and it was great, you know? Really, really great. I'm looking forward to seeing it myself. Coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Is it coming out for the Steam, PlayStation 4, maybe other systems? I don't know. I really, really don't know about that one. So, let me say... Why? I don't. I don't. I don't. I sadly don't. I mean, if I did know, I would have told you guys by now, but it sucks as it is. Huh. I don't know. It's it's really hard to make something up from it. That's all the details I know about this. And, and one of the gameplays, they show how you get demons on your side or fight, or have the ability to weaknesses and traveling and such differently. What other parts of the new announcement? The Pearlogenous main character they call it. I can't pronounce it. Forgive me again. Yeah, they call it Prologue Protagus. Like the name of it during the gameplay premiere of the show. It's it's weird. It's very weird. If you want to recommend getting this pre-order too, like Shin Megami Tensei 3 Remake, I I guess probably get it. But your call, your game, your Shin Megami Tensei fan, go for it. I might get this game. Doesn't mean I'm gonna collect the whole Shin Megami Tensei series. I don't know yet. Doesn't mean I'm gonna see the gameplay, okay? Just saying. But you gotta love something that's coming out and new ones. It's been a while. It is awesome. Till next time. That was a short one. I apologize for that. So hopefully the E3 thing. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I'll just say this quickly. E3 this year isn't bad. There are some good games announced from this. Let me see. I can, I can actually add a little something before I end the video. Shin Megami Tensei Five. Resident Evil Village with some specials. Ace Attorney Chronicles can't wait. Um, this Monster Store, Monster Hunter Stories too. I, I gotta check out the other one and see how the other series are like. Maybe it looks interesting. Then this that uh, Metal Slug Tactics game looks cool. The Advance War for the remake of Game Boy Advance, nice. For others who like it, Zelda's lots of Zelda stuff. Four things. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Super Mario thing with rabbits. The second one looks neat. Super Mario Party with added ins from the originals from this one to four. Or this one to three. Really nice. Donkey Romp and three in the special RPG thing. I'm in. I am so in. Guardians of the Galaxy. In the Fatal Frame. I gotta check out that as well. I'm not gonna get every game. Let's I don't know, certain ones. Wario Wear, oh my god, like, bring home the GameCube again. Kazuya Mishima. I am doing the fan fiction stories of Persona 5. That takes place after Persona 5 Strikers. I will finish that as well. That obviously has the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate since Joker's in it. Oh, it's going to be fun. I will keep you posted on that. Yeah, from the tagging, yeah, Kazuya Mishima. That's, that's pretty neat. This other... Apology Dark Game version, I think it's called. Forgive me if I can't pronounce any things right. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's so much to be happening here. There's Breath of Zelda, Breath of Wild 2, or whatever the title is going to be, the DLC of 
Calamity Ganon of Hyrule Warriors. This Game & Watch had to be made as a free Zelda game the original look like Game & Watch of Link. And, um... And Skyward Swords. That, that's something. I know I might have missed out some of the games. You guys are big fans. It's great. And so on, whatever. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot 2 and Nintendo Switch. That is big, big. <laughs> Uh, I think I think I talk too much, but excited for most games. Super Mario 3D World, No More Heroes 3 is coming out. Well, Super Mario 3D World came out on the Switch. No More Heroes 3? Yeah, I'm gonna get that. And Persona 5 Strikers, still worth it and such. I think I'm gonna collect all Persona games. They just need to come remake of the fighting one and the dance thing. That's pretty much it or whatever it is they got. <laughs> Alright, now on this video, till next time. Hey, besides the announcement for Shimagoni 10 to 5 and E3 news, not bad. Bye!